What's up guys, this is Wes with West Hill Photography. I just want to kind of do my own little rant, kind of, you know, just go off. I haven't did a video ever before. Last night was my uh, premiere uh, art show I did with Raw, and it went absolutely fabulous. Um, thank you, Raw, for giving me the opportunity to shoot with you guys and do what I did. I uh, made a lot of connections and stuff, you know, paid a pretty penny to get in there, so it was well worth it. So we'll see if I do it again. I think I'm pretty sure I will because, I mean, I had a great time. I'm thinking about going to Riverside and doing Raw, and I was speaking to another gentleman in there, and he's telling me that the one in New York is the real big one to want to go to, so I'm going to try to consider that as well. So this is basically a <clears throat> just like a, a video of uh, my life and stuff like that, so I'm going to kind of get into what I used to do, let you guys know how I am and, you know, get into the head of uh, West. Grew up in California, man, my whole life I was a, a troublemaker, kind of like damn near a gangbanger, went out there, hurt people, done all that stuff, and then one day uh, my dad kind of set me down and told me to change my life, and eh, I kind of did, but I was still in, in and out of the you know, just doing stuff, and uh, came out to Arizona, got a job as a, a dishwasher of all things, man, went from dishwasher to chef, and uh, realized that wasn't really my thing, so I got into photography, and I've been doing that on and off for about a year, and then started taking it serious until about four months ago, four months, so I can say that I've been shooting <clears throat> for about, eh, let's say, 13 months, you know, and what I found out about this industry is that um, if you shoot from the heart, and if your heart is in the, the truly in the art, you're not going to get any notoriety. You get your accolades from shooting scantily clad women and uh, kind of selling yourself short. And uh, that's not really what I'm into, man. I, was, I got into this because I'm a passionate person, and I wanted to show my passion through art because I'm not really that good with words so I thought that um, I wanted to put my stamp on the world by putting a camera in my face and taking pictures of things and showing them off in my perspective so uh, it's kind of weird but that's what I do that's what I love and uh, I'd like to give a shout out to a couple of people two that I shot with Gilda Gilda you are professional all the way through you know and faith faith has the same passion i have have the same outlook on things that i have and going through the same struggle people try to give her bullshit people try to give her the short end of the stick and stuff like that and hey you know what faith my heart goes out to you because the same thing's happening to me and most importantly i like to say this before i get to the rest of the shout outs it is not at all your skill level that gets you in this game and gets you elevated higher. What gets you in there is your business ethic. Because I know a lot of photographers out there that don't shoot as well as I do. Not to say I'm the best photographer at all, but they don't shoot as well as I do. And they and they get more clients than I ever can. So I got to kind of switch mine up and make sure that I... Uh, make sure that I start putting business first and not pleasure and not people's feelings first a lot of times i shoot for 60 dollars an hour and wind up only shooting for one hour so one day 60 dollars you tell me if that pays the bills it really doesn't because i gotta put gas in the car i gotta buy the equipment i gotta you know insurance for the car insurance for the camera rent due and all that stuff so you know i kind of kind of shot myself in the foot there so you know i gotta do some adjustments but anyway back to um the main topic of this video the main topic of this video is just me basically running my mouth and giving shouts out where they're due raw thank you personally from the bottom of my heart for actually putting a guy like me out there in front of all those people and presenting me as an artist that means a lot to me for the first time last night i felt like a photographer since i've been picking up a camera i never felt that i never felt the uh the energy that I felt last night, I never really felt as if I should call myself a photographer. For, but, excuse me, but now I do. Thank you, Raw. You put me on a level where I can introduce myself as a photographer now. Uh, some special shouts out I would like to put out to my wife for putting up with me, for supporting me, for understanding that 
hey, this is a very expensive hobby. And to turn it into a career takes a lot of time, a lot of dedication, a lot of uh, belt tightening, you know, budget changing. Just a lot of stuff, man. And she put up with all of it. And my father for just being supportive. You know, he wanted me to be a chef. And I did that for a little bit, but it wasn't really my thing. So I really appreciate you, Father, for putting up with me. And also, last but not least, my brother Ray. Ragu, you did your thing. You helped me out. Was my uh, assistant, was my creative director. He helped me out on so many levels. It wasn't for him. A lot of these photos wouldn't be out here. So, you know, all those people I want to thank. Uh, and one more thing, one more thing. Fake models. I want some, almost curse. I'm not going to curse right now. Look, if you say you're going to do something, just do it. If you say you're going to book time with somebody, book the time. Because you're making yourself look like an amateur. And then if you put yourself as an amateur and blow somebody off and then go produce some whack-ass work with some whack-ass photographer or make yourself look stupid like that, man, hey, it, it's funny to me. Because right now, on the table, right now, I got deals with HGTV that's hopefully. I got deals with the modeling agencies that want me to be a staff photographer, travel around the world, hopefully. And I got a couple of other things in the work I'm not going to talk about right now because they're kind of sensitive and I'm not going to put myself out there and make myself look like a buffoon if they don't come through. So, uh, you know, that's just it, man. I don't come from an artistic background. I come from, like, the hood. You know, I'm a really honest hood dude, man, that's trying to change my life for the better and to be a better person. So, I picked up a camera and I'm doing my thing with that, man. God willing everything works man you know big up to the most high jesus thank you for everything you've done for me as well i don't want to get all preachy but that's the way i feel if you don't feel it then you know just don't listen to this part of the uh the uh message anyway facebook thank you for listening youtube thank you for listening and whoever else is listening thank you you're talking to a real absolute man you know pride five kids and stuff like that so it's whatever western photography 845-800-9932